How's it going guys? My name is Donnie Kelly Kearns and today I'm going to show you my favorite species of rattlesnake. Now it's very hard for me to decide. I mean I love so many of these pit vipers but if I had to choose one it would have to be the Massasauga. It's just such a beautiful snake, nice, compact, easy size and of course the name is just very cool and intimidating. So I'm going to take them out for you and show you some cool facts about this animal. Alrighty, there he is. As you can see, it's a very small rattlesnake. These guys average about two feet long, but even then, you're mostly gonna find them at this smaller size, closer to about 18 inches. So most rattlesnakes don't have a whole lot of predators. They're big, intimidating, they got that rattle to scare things off. But the Mossasaw is very different. It's small, cute, petite, everything's trying to eat these guys. So, whereas something only like a coyote or a large bird of prey would be able to tackle a larger rattlesnake, Things like roadrunners will eat Massasaguas, even the loggerhead shrike, which is a relative of songbirds. It's this really sort of unique, tiny looking bird, which will actually pick up the snake and drop it on a cactus or a barbed wire fence, and that's how it disposes of its prey. So this snake has to worry about a whole host of predators that other rattlesnakes don't. Now the first thing you're gonna notice about this rattlesnake, despite its size, are those gorgeous patterns it has. And notice how it's using those to sort of blend into the soil here. Now, if it were in its native habitat in the rocks and shrublands, that's gonna work a whole lot better. So you'll see these huge spots surrounding the body of this rattlesnake. And there's actually some specimens that are melanistic, so that means that their whole body is very dark black. So these snakes have a huge range. It ranges all the way from southern Ontario way down to the southwestern United States, places like New Mexico, where I'm from. So these guys have a huge range, and they have three subspecies, the desert, eastern, and western Massasauga. So that shows how adaptable these snakes are. They can survive in most environments you can find in our country, all the way from the really cold woodlands, way down to the hottest desert. So it's a very adaptable species that can survive pretty much anywhere. So how you're often gonna find a Massasauga is curled up tight in a little ball, waiting along a rodent trail. Now these guys are a small snake, so they're going to be targeting very small prey. Things like mice, shrews, lizards, even centipedes. So these guys are after the smaller stuff on the food chain, and how it's going to kill those prey is with a hemotoxic venom. What this venom's going to do is affect the bloodstream of the animal, destroy those red blood cells, and really affect it quickly. So when it bites something like a rat, it's really going to affect it. But if it bites something like a person, I mean, the venom is pretty toxic, but this is such a small snake that its venom capacity isn't anywhere near some of the other rattlesnakes. So if you get a bite, you are, it's gonna feel extremely painful, don't get me wrong, and you're gonna feel a lot of symptoms, but it can be easily treated with a trip to the doctor and getting some anti-venom. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned a lot about my favorite rattlesnake in the world, the Massasauga. I mean, hey, some of you may not have known about this snake before, and maybe now it's your favorite rattlesnake, so that'd be pretty cool. But for now, guys, if you all enjoy videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. Keep up with all my new and upcoming animal adventures, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching.